YouTube. My name is Sharice. I go online by the name of Denkai from DenkaiDesigns.com. Welcome to my floss tube update. This is for what month are we in now? July, aren't we? For June to July, kind of smudging a bit half and half together. So there we go. <laughs> right. Uh, I've got a little list of things to talk about. So first off, a little update, a little life update, because I know some people like to, you know, see how people are doing and stuff. If you don't, I'll keep it quick. <laughs> uh, right, um, my house, my house up for sale. We've had um, someone interested in buying it, but then it's like, we can't buy it until we've sold ours, and the person buying ours is waiting for a mortgage, so it's like an offer in principle. Like, what? You know, what is that off of your principle? Just buy my house already, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> um, and then someone else who's waiting to sell theirs, who is planning on making an offer once they've, bought, once they've sold theirs, I don't know. At the minute, no one's buying it. Well, they kind of are, but kind of not. We're still living in it. <laughs> um, boxing stuff up, maybe a little bit, just to, but you don't want to kind of box too much up because um, you might need it or you don't have something too empty and it's just it's like a limbo like we're like stuck in a moving house limbo there we go um, for those of you who play World of Warcraft um, I am super super excited about the new um, release new expansion release yay so I don't plan in August it comes out in August the 14th the, the next version or next edition of the, an online game that I play um, so yeah, it comes out in August, so I'm planning on just, you know, so not a lot of uh, stitching in August planned, but never mind. So I'm super excited, planning all of that and getting all of that sorted. Um, actually today, I have like a little mini break planned, so I'm going to Scarborough for the weekend. Um, just me, no husband, no child, no washing up, no tidying just you know a weekend of peace and it's like the long overdue I need it I'm kind of I'm the kind of person that um, I like being around people but I have to have at least an hour to myself a day just to kind of collect myself and have some peace where there's no kind of mm, going on <laughs> so yeah I'm so looking forward to my weekend away I really am and I'm planning on bringing all my stitchy things <laughs> So hopefully I get lots of stitching done this weekend and it's Scarborough so it's by the sea because I have just a, a love, I don't like the beach but I love the water and the waves and just the, the sound and you know so oh, I'm so looking forward to it. So yes, uh, we'll do my floss tube update and then I'm going to sort the car out and then I'm going to go. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, that's good. Uh, right, I'll get started with my whips. Uh, first off, this. I'll show you this is what I've been doing I'm gonna do this chart there's a hey it's a hade I've got it on the back it is called geisha and it's artwork by Kathy Delancey or Delancey I'm sorry if you're watching I butchered your name um, yeah it's a big one it's hade obviously um, here we go this <laughs> I have done some. I sw I think it's I do some and then it doesn't. It never looks like I've done any because I don't have a lot of time to stitch. So, you know, I grab hours when I can. So I have done some more while we've been out, and I thought, oh, it feels weird because I I like to stitch when it's really close so I can see. I need my glasses as well, but so I can see. And on my frame, it was kind of quite far away, and I was doing mm, like this, and then at the end, I was getting my neck ache and going like that. So I decided, I know, bright idea, I'll start at the bottom. So I rolled the scroll up and everything and started on the bottom and it was a bit better. But now I'm thinking, do I just kind of like keep, I'll just have to keep rolling it down or I don't know. I need some grime guards anyway for my, my big long frame. Maybe that will stop me. So I did that at the top and then a little bit at the bottom. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry about that. My phone ran out of room because I forgot to delete those videos I've taken. So, <laughs> yes, as I was saying, it kind of scares me because I did the top bit and then I did the bottom bit and then I suddenly realised that I've got all of this to stitch. Oh my god. Like, 
I don't know why I have, I've got about four Hades, maybe five charts that I've bought uh, that I really like. And I'm thinking, I'm just going to have to choose one because there's no way I can stitch five in my lifetime. <laughs> and they keep having all these, I'll just wind this up, they keep having all these sales and I'm like, oh, I really like that one, I really like that one. I'm thinking, don't, just don't do it. You're never going to stitch it and I won't stitch it. I really like this one. There we go. Geisha, I think she's gorgeous. And I bought Chloris as well, which is just, it looks like it's loads of just swirls of colour it's beautiful really beautiful um i think there might be quite a lot of um confetti in it but i still think it's really nice um so yes that is that one also i have i'll do this one this one is if you can see it There's a beads on, it's gorgeous. This is on Flotsam and Jetsam, it's a 32 count from Chromatic Alchemy. Um, I feel like the Needle Winder, that's mine, that's how it is. Um, but I've been doing a lot of the, I don't know if you can see the one over one skin, let me try and get close so you can see. Is that focusing? I hope it is. No, it's not. Well, it's kind of smudged together, so it looks like skin, so that's a plus. <laughs> so yes, I've been doing that, and this is Bluebeard's Princess. There she is. Isn't she gorgeous? That's by Mirabilia. So I really like her. And I love the fabrics. And I've been doing lots of skin on one over one. It kind of freaked me out to start with, to be honest. It would take a long time. Well, it still takes a long time. Um, but I did a few, and I think if you do a couple of stitches, you're like that looks weird. But just persist with it if you if you're considering it, because once you kind of get a few together, it looks really nice. Um, and I didn't think I only had a few, and I was like, uh, not too sure about that. <laughs> um, yeah. So my plan is, especially this weekend, I'm going to finish that little section of tummy. I know it'll take a while, <laughs> so I'll finish that and I've got to leave little spaces because we've got lots of beads left to go in there as well and there's some beads on the tail and things like that that I still have to do. Um, but yeah, and I'm hoping I can get some more of that gorgeous hair done. Just to unbrush my hair. I'm going to go shake it up. I kind of started some of the the tail. That little, just, that's an arm. That's a bit of skin where the arm was. I was on retreat and I was like, I'm fed up of doing this skin because I started it. I don't want to do this anymore. But I really like it and I still want to stitch it. So I like me counted about five times and stitched half an arm strap up there and then started on the hair. <laughs> well, you've got to. If there's part of a chart that you're bored of, you, think, you, you still want to stitch it, but you just don't want to stitch that little bit. You know, I was trying to move to another area. <laughs> So yes, that is Blue Mist Princess. She's looking good. She's looking good. So that is her. She's on my frame. And let me get this one. Let me just clean the fluff off this one. This is Alessandra Adelaide Needleworks. Let's call it AAN because I Spell Alessandra and nothing. There we go. There's that one. Peacock! There she is. Let me just move the little thread out of the way. The plan was to kind of keep going with all of the, the blue and everything else, and then I did up there, and I was really loving it. I thought, I'll do all the blue and then fill it in, it'll be great, it'll be so easy. Uh -huh. I made a mistake, but I couldn't find it. I, I know that I made a mistake because things weren't adding up. One, it was one stitch out. Um, somewhere like up here was like one stitch out, and I'm like, but everywhere I counted from, like if I counted from from there, it was fine. If I counted from there, it was fine, and I was counting from loads of different places to try and find where I'd gone wrong, and I still couldn't find it. And I asked Mike, hubby Mike, he couldn't find it. Literally, we both must have spent about an hour combined trying to find where I'd messed it up. In the end, I just thought, right, sod it. Why am I just doing it in the blue? I'll just fill in with some other colours. And then hopefully, 
with me filling in with the colours and things that will count out the pattern a bit better. So I have, yeah, so I put some of the, the greeny swirl on this big block of blue there. Oh, this is from Chromatic Alchemy. It's 32 count iolite. I just thought it's gorgeous and it's perfect for this chart, I think. Check that out. Yeah, so I did um, I did some of the colours and I've kind of frogged um, a little bit and there you can see there's a little tufty bit there. So I know that some of this needs to kind of move one thing over but I don't know. I'm just going to kind of colour and then frog a bit and then redo where I'm supposed to and do it like that because I've never had it, ever had it in a chart that I couldn't, I'll show you something, I couldn't find it, sorry I finished what I was saying. I couldn't find it where I'd gone wrong. Never. So, it's a bit weird. I don't know. And I know there's definitely a mistake. I don't know. Put up a count in. Less counting, more stitching. But, uh, little tiny chocolates in here. Shh. Don't tell anybody. I'll colour it in. I'll kind of brush it. I'll get a little a little layer board or q-tip and then uh, yeah, just, and then I'm colouring that patch in no one will know so that is my whips that's what I've been working on this week this month no month <laughs> I wish it was a week I wish I had that much time right we've done whips which haul I have some haul you'll probably know what these are guaranteed everybody has had haul well a lot of stitches have had haul this uh, this month. As you know, it's the 25th anniversary for Mirabilia. And I ordered this little thing. Little Mirabilia chart design. And it had Nora Corbett. I'm a big, big Mirabilia Nora Corbett fan. I love it. Love her. It's amazing. And I will show you. There, you get a little chart for this. little cameo. Which is real cute. I think it was just one colour, but no, it's got quite well it is one colour, it's black. We've got oh it's got water lilies in and oh I love carrying water lilies. Love them, they're my favourite. And some nice beads. And it's got all about her and about some of the charts that she's done and she's talked about it. So yeah. Nice. I bought charts. Bought charts. I start off with the one this is not uh, oh, she um, with the 25th anniversary, some of the charts were uh, the released or re-released kind of thing, but in limited stock. So if you were, uh, it's quite a big, big hoo ha, that uh, some of the charts that were remade. Um, I have two of them here. I'll show you them. I have Queen Mermaid. I love that. I am gonna have to change that little purse. Why she need a purse? She's under the sea. She doesn't need a purse. She can go nowhere. I might change it for a shell. That's one of the limited edition ones, or the, kind of the limited re-release. Um, this is another one. Lady Mirabilia. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and get in close. Focus. Focus. You stupid camera. There we go. Yeah, maybe yeah. Twenty-five years. Um, this is quite expensive as well because, but it comes with that little charm. Birdfly. Those are two of the limited edition re-release ones. There was, um, Seaside Kingdom, which is a picture of a couple of kids that were like playing in sandcastles and stuff. Um, I'm trying to think now. I only like the ones that I like and got those. There's a lady with the flag one, which is a lady with a flag. Um, and that's very, very popular. It's a United States flag and it's very popular in the United States. So there was a big hoo-ha over that. But just not so many people wanted it. And the limited, um, the number that the stores could have. So they're limited to kind of 10. So I was quite lucky to get these. I got um, this one from Arts and Designs. The, a UK shop. I only really like the charts. I like to kit it up myself, so I just buy charts and, and kind of go from there. Um, and this one was from uh, Crafty Kitten, so I got that. I also 
A little number one. And this one is Moonflowers by Laura Corbett. And I like that. I'm not so keen on that little brown fully skirt, so I might just omit that. But I like the rest. And I've been looking on Fabric Viewer, and with a really nice dark fabric, it really brings out like all of the little braids and stuff at the top around the moon. So I'm planning on doing that. So, yes, I was quite fortunate because they were limited to the shops to 10 each. I was like, right, get in there quick. Um, yeah, so I got two of them. And I got the ones that I really liked. I did really like them and I'm glad that they've they brought, they brought them up. This one. Glad that they re-released that one. She's nice. Um, and yeah, this one's like the 25th anniversary celebration one, which is at the bottom, it's got Mirabilia designs stitch so yeah I like that I have to kit them up Yay! you know I like kitting things up speaking of my plans this month I'm going to do some more blue bears princess as I said I'm going to work on the skin and some of the the hair trestles I love the word trestles I'll work more on this Probably have to frog all of that, but never mind. I'll work on that. That is, I really like this. It's so easy to stitch. And when when my son Eden comes home from school, he's not like, "Mommy, come outside and watch me down jump on the trampoline," because I don't know why he just it's like he can't jump on a trampoline without someone watching. I don't know. <laughs> so I'll go outside and um, yeah, it's really nice. I'll just sit and, and do half an hour on that. So I'm going to do a little bit of that. A little bit of the mirabilia and one second let me get these up okay I have zinnia but let me show you because I'm kind of, I'm thinking where is she where is she I'm thinking of doing some more on this maybe I think I will I'll do a little bit more on this maybe get some of those wings going on and I quite like a new, I'm so terrible with new starts I literally never finish anything just, <laughs> that's a lie that is a lie I do finish things I do but I don't know it just takes me so long to stitch things that I'm like oh let's try something new or oh it's taking so long why is it taking so long <laughs> but I am quite tempted to restart one of them. I did have Renaissance Mermaid, and I, I think I spoke to some. Uh, I spoke about it last time, but I don't like. I did it. I did it on a linen. I wasn't happy with it at all. So I've got some even weave. So I am quite tempted to restart that because I was enjoying that. Again, mermaid with trestles. I'm just a sucker for mermaids. Seriously, I, I was a mermaid in a past life, guaranteed. And the other one that I was considering starting was this one, because I really liked this. That's Miss Cherry Blossom. Do I need another start? I don't need another new start. I should finish one of them, shouldn't I? I've got two mirrors on the go. I think that's enough. Maybe. Maybe. So anyway... For my little getaway, I'm definitely taking the two mirrors with me, I think, and I'll work on that. The Hade, I like the Hade, but I just feel like I don't make any progress because I only get like 200 stitches, no, more than 200 stitches, like a thousand stitches on it a month, if, if that, if that. I don't know. Anyway, that is what I'm doing. Joke. Where's my joke book? Where's my joke book? In a second, I'll find it. Found it. Panicked there. <laughs> Packing everything up. I'm like, no, please tell me I didn't pack up the joke book. Awesome dad joke book. I've chosen one for you. Humorous. Why was the calendar scared? Because he knew its days were numbered. I love it. 
I'm going to have to find, some of these are, are bad. I mean, I have like bad joke standards, but these are like horrific. Uh, some of them are really good, but I'm going to have to find another one. Another good joke book. If anyone's got any recommendations, let me know. I'm always up for them. So I want one that's um, kind of one or two lines and bad jokes. I like bad jokes. Not horrific, but bad. Bad is good. <laughs> right, um, I will see you later. Um, I will see you in October, probably about 12th, 13th of October, something like that. Just before release of the new game. Yay! <laughs> so I will see you then and update you from all of my mini stitching one woman retreat. <laughs> see you later. Bye.